Now, under screen cameras are getting better. Uh, why do we need them? <laughs> well, Tim, you see so many people, and you've done a million uh, Skype calls, how people just don't know the eyesight with their uh, phone and uh, their screen. So they're looking at the screen, but not the camera. It's something we do naturally in television. But the eyesight thing's one level for professional purposes, but it also means that it frees up the screen. It doesn't have to have a notch there. And as you can see, Oppo have just released uh, details of their next prototype, and it looks really good. And this is, this is amazing stuff. The camera pokes through the screen and the pixels change slightly. There, You can see on the right, they're a bit smaller and uh, they're a bit more transparent. And this is a full screen of text. So there's no camera, but there is one underneath. And here's an example of the selfie cameras. Now, they're not seen to be too good, but these are pretty good results that they've shown. And uh, it is the way forward. And you can actually buy one right now. A ZTE phone goes for about 500 bucks, and they they were the first to bring one commercially to market, and you can buy one for 500, as I said. But this opens up all these opportunities. So in your screen, in your TV, you can have a camera right in the middle. So you're looking straight at the people that you're talking to. There's no off-camera stuff, anything like that. Plus, mm -hmm. it means there's nothing around the bezel. So you won't have a bezel at all. It cleans up the phone. But it does raise a few security issues, Tim, because in a couple of years' time, you're going to get a TV, you're going to get a phone, and you go, is there a camera under there? Yeah, interesting. And the brick is back. Nokia's new phone is tough <laughs> as nails. Oh, I think tradies will love this. Um, this uh, is available in, in a couple of uh, a week or so's time. This is the... Uh, new uh, XR20 by Nokia. And Nokia, they used to be indestructible. These days, they're all smartphones. But uh, this thing is like a brick. Now, it sort of feels... It's, it's got a nice sort of uh, rubbery case to it. It feels like it's got a case on it, but it is one of the toughest uh, phones going around. And you can see here some uh, soccer greats are taking uh, it and putting it through its paces, absolutely punishing it. And uh, not only can you throw it from one and a half metres uh, a, lot, a lot of times and dunk it in water forever, it uh, also is 5G, so it's pretty handy as well. But it's one of those phones that has... Uh, a pretty good operating system with Android. And Nokia is a brand that sort of uh, went away in Nokia phones, but it's really back with a vengeance. And I think everyone's pleased to look at it, but you can absolutely... Uh, this is uh, <laughs> a great shot from Roberto Carlos uh, reenacting one of his old classic shots for Brazil and absolutely uh, taking that phone to pieces. But there it survived. And I think uh, when so many people uh, drop their phones and they, they crack their screens... Uh, they're so uh, upset about it. Why not buy a phone that's going to be pretty good from the start? And that uh, retails for eight seventy nine, and I think it's uh, about a week away from being available in Australia. That's the new Nokia XR20. It's the phone built for you on uh, the property there with the animals, Tim. Yeah, or just me in life. I drop my phone all the time. It looks very different to the brick that we used to use <laughs> reporting in the early 90s, 30-odd years oh. ago. Jura, oh, good over to the talk shoulder. to you. Yeah, yeah. Good to talk to you. Oh, thanks, Tim.